Hi everyone, took a one week break, but I sure missed barking gaming news. So I'm back, and oh boy. One particular development in the gaming industry sure got my tail wagging, so without further ado, let's see what happened this week. Unreal Engine 5 just went viral this week with a PlayStation 5 tech demo in a 9 minute video that starts with these two guys. Hello, I'm Brian Karras, Technical Director of Graphics. Hi, I'm Jérôme Plateau, Art Director of the Special Project. After this formality, they went on to tell us about how amazing the future of video games will be for both developers and for gamers that will either use Unreal Engine 5 or play games made with Unreal Engine 5. And here they mentioned two key systems that will have a great impact on the time spent developing a game, as well as its overall graphical design and physics system quality. And we call this new system Lumen, art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Nanite and Lumen. With that in mind, let's move on to why this is truly exciting. The actual tech demo played on PlayStation 5. And oh boy, does this thing kick off from the start, as they just give us a very small glimpse of what the previously mentioned system can do in a game. I mean, take a look at the amount of detail on these rocks and just imagine how this could impact entire gaming environments with individual elements. Here they also showed off, revealing us the triangle count in the scene. That numbers in the billions of rendered triangles per frame. That's astronomical. Then there's Lumen. Just look at how beautiful the shifting light impacts the environment. Moving along in the demo, they also showcased Niagara. This is actually a particle system, every bat being an individual particle. The really interesting thing that they did mention here is that the particles can communicate with each other and they can understand the environment. Now, that's interesting, and could potentially create some really cool gameplay mechanics in the future. The particle system wasn't the only surprise left for the demo. Chaos physics system and a couple of other features like climbing or walking through water were also showcased here. For the chaos system specifically, Gravity does look a little bit more realistic, as rocks bounce off each other. And the cloth animations look pretty cool, I guess it could be a really interesting mechanic for games with caped characters. Climbing animations are nice, maybe we'll get a lot more games where platforming through the environment looks more like this. <laughs> Then a carefully highlighted path where you climb like this. As for the water animation, well, well it's cool that your character's motion actually affects the water, but the animation needs some work, cause right now it looks like you move through jelly. Okay, now right here is the part where they go in full show off mode, as they explain that this statue is imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. And there are 500 statues in the next scene, and when the roof opens and light starts pouring through, this is some next level eye candy right here. As Lumen's lightning system starts to interact with the billions of triangles rendered from Nanite. And they finish off the demo by mentioning that of course, the system will affect entire open worlds with complex environments, not just linear paths or tight corridors, while showing us a dynamic fly through the scenery with some occasional motion blurs here and there, so we don't actually see exactly how natural the character interacts through this dynamic scene, but nonetheless, very awesome.
Conclusions? Well, first of all, sorry, this news was more on the technical side, but it was worth mentioning. This is actually a very interesting glimpse of what's to come with the next generation of consoles. I know this was played on a PlayStation 5, but there's probably going to be a lot of developers using this engine for titles across the major platforms out there, like Xbox or PC or even others. Thanks to the Unreal team for showcasing this jaw-dropping eye candy content, and I sure hope games won't be larger than 50 gigabytes, cause it sure looks like the amount of detail in them will require quite the storage. I will take my leave for now with a quote that Dishonored fans may recognize. Emily Caldwin being the one quoted here. It's a funny thing, ambition. It can take you to sublime heights or harrowing depths, and sometimes they're one and the same.